Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make custom armor using Nova Skin here for Minecraft 118.1. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's go over there and see how this is done in Nova Skin. Here we are at Nova Skin, and that's novaskin.me. I'll put this link in the description also. The resource pack side of this is not complete. It's still in beta mode, but it's not going to be completed. If you look at our dates here, 2014, this site hasn't been updated in ages. But what's here is still really interesting and really good to use. So I'll go down here, click into the resource pack creator. Here we go. And then over here, left-hand side, click on armor. It takes you into the armor section. And if I scroll down just a little bit here, we have two pieces here, iron armor and iron armor 2, the pant legs in here, and then iron one is everything else. That's the same for all of these different textures like diamond in here. Now notice that we don't have any netherite armor. That's because, again, Nova Skin is really out of date, but what it has works great. So we'll go ahead and we'll work on both of these two parts. Just click on one that then loads it in here. And this is what I like about this editor is that you get this 3D view and you can edit right here on the 3D view. Now if I roll the mouse over here, you get this kind of a wireframe that shows you where all these spots are. And notice up here in the hat, there's kind of a outline outside of the hat. That's because there are two layers up here. There is the main head section right here and head wear. So you actually can do two layers on the hat, but no place else. And if you see over here, right hand side, the areas that are outlined, that's where you can put content in. This is the main area here for the hat. There is your main body armor. And then you have your feet down here and your arms over here. The arms and the feet are just one texture, so you paint on one and it matches on both sides. The area over here that's kind of empty, this is that overlay section for the hat. So the hat and they have the overlay section over here. Now the first thing to do is go up here, click on this little kind of a water drop thing right here. That gets you into the color picker. And then down below you have all of your different color options. Now these are just different colors. So here's a red pencil. If I scroll over here, see the pencil is red. If I go over here, pencil is green. Here the pencil is blue black, white, and yellow. This is a fill bucket and some other stuff. We don't need to go into real detail about how to use the whole program. We'll just do something real simple this time. Now, the best way to do this is to isolate the part that you want to work on. Let's say I want to do just the chest area in here. So I'll go up here where it says select, and this show just the body. There it is. So we can now work on just the body. If you go outside here, you can actually pull that around and see all sides. There's still kind of a ghost image, so you can see right where you are. Now I want to do stripes on this, and I think this time I'm going to be putting my stripes inside just a little bit, but I want to find a couple of nice blue colors in here. A bit of a darker blue, I think that's kind of nice right down here. Except for one pixel, which is the easiest way to do this. You can go higher on your pixel in here. Once you get above four, you can begin to paint in different textures, but I'll keep mine real simple for this. And I'll come in here and let's just paint in and see what we have. Okay, that's a bit too dark. So I'm going to move this back up here. Sometimes these things move around a bit weird. There we go. And again, it's kind of a beta version. It doesn't really always work perfectly. Sometimes you have to just redo a couple of times and get it to work out fine. And let's just put in some basic stripes. And I'll put those just inside like that. And I want a lighter blue in here. I'll go a lot lighter. Somewhere up here. And paint a nice light blue stripe right there. So real basic and i'll just keep this one basic for this video but we've now repainted the front of the body part of my armor let's now do the hat up here go up to head this is the inner section and then if i go down here for headwear that's the outer section we'll do both of these on the head i'll take this lighter blue and let's just paint a stripe right here and right here and i'll go one above so i have all three of those painted in with this around same thing on this side, just like that. And we'll clear around and get the back side. There we go. And clear around again. And we'll get this side in here. There it is. And then we'll go to the other section here, the headwear. And we'll go to a darker blue. And let's paint a dark blue stripe right in here. And pull that around. And across the back side, and around again, and across this side. And if you mess up like that, you can always just erase that. The eraser tool is right over here, and just tap in there to clean that out. Okay, go back to select, then you see the whole body. And there we go. So that's the back side. There's the front side. So we have that painted in real nice. 
I'll do a little bit on the pants. I'll leave everything else here the same. We need to save this out now so that we can use it in a texture pack and actually install this in the game. So go up here, it says save, and go over to download. And this is the actual texture. And the way you do this is you right click. If you click on save here, it's gonna tell you the same thing. There it is. Right click and then save image as and save it on your computer. I'll go ahead and I'll do that right now. Here's my working packs folder. We'll be talking about this in just a little bit. But I'll save this. Now, if you look over here, left-hand side, this image is called iron underscore layer underscore one PNG. You need to use that name down here. So I'll just type that in. There we go. And it's a PNG image. Make sure the file type is PNG. Choose save. And that's now done. All right, we can close this down. And let's go back to armor. And let's now go over here and we'll do the second file here. This is the legs. Bring this up. On the legs, I'm just going to put in something at the knee level in here. Just a little detail so you can see that that actually works. And go back here to that water drop type look where on the darker color, that's okay. Go back here to my pencil tool and I'll put in something just like that. Now notice how it comes in, paints both legs at the same time. And I think that's all I will do on this one just to give us something changed in here for this particular one. Same thing, to save it out, go back to save. There's the file. And again, if you click on save, it's just gonna tell you to do the same thing here. Right click, save image as. There's the original one. Now this is the same thing about layer two. So I'm gonna click on that one, just give me the name down there. Then I'll type over the one and make that a two. Real easy. That's now done. Now there's one more thing we need to do. This will show up on my character if I place it on the character, but it's not gonna show up correctly in the inventory. That's a different image for armor. So it's back up here to textures. And then go over here, it says items, click into this. And in here, we need to scroll down until we find the iron armor. And here we go, there's the iron armor, the chest plate, and we also have the legs that are separate. So we need to do these things separately. So I'll click over here, iron chest plate. And notice how it is just like the other one. I'm gonna use the wheel here to scroll back a little bit. If I pull this around, you see it's just a flat image. And go up here to do the water drop and click on this little pencil icon. We can now draw in here with this. And I'll find a nice similar color. And it was right up in this range someplace. And I'll do a dark blue first. And I'll put a line maybe right across here. And do this. Again, I'll stay just inside of that outside edge. And right up here. And then a lighter blue. And I'll fill in the rest of this with a lighter blue. There we go. And just paint this on down to get this one image finished. Now that's done, same exact thing for outputting this, click on save, right click, save image as. And right here, this is gonna be going into the iron chest plate PNG, so I wanna name that correctly down here. There it is, choose save, that one's done. And finally, back to items, and we'll scroll down and we'll find that one last bit, that's the legs. And here we go, there they are, leggings. And again, use the wheel on the mouse. You can scroll in and out with that. That's good. If you go over here, you can actually move your image around just by grabbing this little thing right here, bottom left-hand corner. And that's pretty good. I can work with that size right there. Now on the legs, we just did little knee things. So I'll go back to my blue color in here. And back to the eyedropper tool, there's that blue. And I'll just put a little knee section just like that. Okay, let's save this one out. Back up to save, right-click, save image as. And this is iron leggings. And it's PNG file, and choose save. Okay, that's all done. We can now go back and let's build our resource pack. Now I'm saving these into a folder I made on my hard drive. I just called it packs, it's on my C drive. And there are the four files that we just made. Plus I have my own custom pack PNG. You can make this yourself. It's just a 256 by 256 PNG image. All that is, nothing special about that. Okay, now we need a few things. I first need the folders to put these into, and we also need a pack MC Meta file. Now, that file is not included in the 118.1, so we either have to get it from an earlier version or you can just download it from my website. I'll show you where you can get it from an earlier version if you have that. If you don't have that, I'll put a link in the description for you to download. Let's bring up the launcher right now. Here we go, go up to installations right here and click on that file folder, and this opens up the Minecraft folder right here. Now bring back up our working folder. There we go, put that right here, and inside of here, come down to versions, 
and then find your current version. We're in 118.1 right down here. And you want the jar file. Now, if you're not seeing the .jar part of that, then go up to View. I'm in Windows 11 right now. Come down to Show, and make sure that Find Them Extensions is checked. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab, and then put a check mark next to Find Them Extensions. All right, let's take this, right drag this over here, and copy. Don't move it, make sure you copy. There we go. Now in the jar, just click into the name, and then type over that and make it say zip instead of jar. Click outside and choose yes. It's now just a zip file. Now you can do the exact same thing if you have an earlier version. 116.5 or earlier will work for this. So let's go ahead and we'll grab that. There's a versions folder again, and I have 116.5 right up here. Let me just go inside of this, and I'll take this jar file, right drag it over here, and copy. And let's get that out of the way again. And same thing, let me just change the .jar to a .zip, like that. Okay, now we need the pack MC meta. We don't have one inside of here, so I'm going to grab it out of here. Right click, open a new window. Then you see a big long list of files here. You need to scroll way down to get into the section where the P's are. That's way down near the bottom. Right here, there's the pack MC meta. And again, this is out of the 116.5. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. There we go. Now, if you don't have a 116.5 or earlier, you can also download this from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. And then we need to find the folder to put these into. And for that, let's go over here to the 118.1, right click, open a new window. And we're going to navigate into where those files should be. That's in the assets, in Minecraft, come down to textures. Everything is in the textures section. And then down to models down here and armor. And they're inside of here. Let's just change the view here to medium icons. They got lined up nicely. There we are. And there's the two iron files. So we need to recreate this folder structure. I'm going to put this right like that. Let's bring this window just down below so we can read that. And let's now copy that down here. So new folder, assets. Go inside of this one, new folder, Minecraft. There we go. Inside of that, new folder, textures. There it is. Inside of textures, new folder, models. There we go. Inside of models, new folder, armor. Okay, double check, make sure this is all spelled correctly. I think I got mine right. Now it's back up to textures, and then up here, back up the textures as well. And you want to have the item folder right there. This is where the items are for the inventory. So we need to have the item folder also at this location inside of textures. So new folder, item. And there it is. All right, let's go back here to the packs folder. These are the armor. I'm going to use the Control C keyword shortcut to copy that. Let's go into that folder, assets, Minecraft textures, models, armor, and then control V to paste those in right here. There it is. It's back up to our PAX folder. And then I need this image here. Hold the control key down and grab that one. And then same thing, control C to copy those. That's in assets, Minecraft, textures, and item. And then control V to paste those right there. Okay, so that's all set. Let's now go over here to the Pack MC Meta file, and I can also get rid of this. We can close that down. Okay, in our Pack MC Meta, open this up. I like to do this inside of a program called Notepad++. It's a great code editing program, and it's free. I'll put a link for that in the description. Open this up. There we go. Only two things to do here. First off, let's change that six to an eight. That's the right number for 118.1. And then up here, let's just give this a different name. I'll call it Custom Armor. Choose save, and that's done. Right now we can zip together our resource pack. So click on assets, hold the control key down, click on the pack MC meta and your pack PNG. If you don't want to make your own pack PNG, you'll find the pack PNG right next to the pack MC meta file. Now let's right click and come down to compress to zip file. This again is in Windows 11. I'll give it a name, custom armor. Now if you're in Windows 10, what you do is you select your three files and then go up to the share tab and then click on zip. And at that point, everything's exactly the same. Okay, now we need to get this into the game. And for that, I'll bring the launcher back up again. There it is. Let's go back over here to that folder, open this up. And this time, go into the resource packs folder. Let's put this right over here and I'll move this one over here so you can see this. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. And there we go. It's now inside my resource packs and that's taken care of. And that's all we have to do as far as that goes. Everything looks good. Let's now bring the launcher back up again. And let's play the game. And we'll load into the title screen. And then we'll activate the new resource pack at the title screen.
Here we are at my custom title screen. If you want to find out how I did this, I have videos about this. I'll put the links for those in the description. But for right now, let's go down here to Options and Resource Packs. There's our new pack right here. Click on the arrow. comes over to the right-hand side. It's now activated. Choose Done. That's going to load it into the game. Choose Done again. It's going to Single Player. Okay, let's check our inventory here. Here's our combat section. There's our nice new icons right there. It looks good. Let me bring those down here. There it is. And let's go over to the chest and we'll install those. Notice how we see that new look in here. We see the new look right there on that little image. That's all looking great. There we go. We're now wearing those two new pieces of armor with our new designs on them. So it's that easy to make your own custom armor here inside of Minecraft. And if you like the video, hit that like button and I'll see you next time.